Hey everybody, Eric Nathy from MountainModernLife.com. I uh, hope you guys are doing well today. Um, today we're going to be focused on removing our kitchen sink uh, from the RV. Uh, as you're all aware, we're removing everything, so uh, we figured we might as well uh, document some of the items. Um, so uh, today, the first thing I guess I want to touch base on with removing your sink is that um, underneath here we found um, these little devices. Um, and what they do is they create a wedge between the sink bottom and the wood countertop in order to hold it a little more securely in place. Um, so what happens here is the end of this metal piece slides into a metal groove that's attached to the sink and then once it's in there you tighten this up until it hits the wood um, almost like a tree stand um, when you're putting your Christmas tree into the stand and you screw it down until it's nice and tight holds it secure. Um, so we went ahead and removed these. Um, ours, you can use a flathead screwdriver. Um, they were a little tight, so we actually used an eight millimeter socket um, and loosened them up and then pulled all these pieces out. Um, another thing we wanted to touch base on is with all of our hardware that we're um, using with removing things, we're actually labeling it for where it comes from um, and what it's for. Um, that way, uh, when we go to put everything back together, um, we're able to easily know where our hardware, hardware is so that we can use it. And if any of it's rough, we know what it goes to and we can go to the store uh, and replace it. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and remove those. Um, after you've done that, You'll see here that ours is a dual sink, so we have two drain hoses coming out. Um, ours were really tight, uh, so I used a pair of vice, vice grips, clamped it down, uh, loosened it up a little bit. Um, I'll go ahead and finish that right now for you. As you can see there, that drain's completely loose. Now as we get this one off, that one's completely loose. Um, now, I don't know if you can see back there, but we have a red going in and a blue going in. That signifies hot for red and cold for blue. Uh, so we'll want to reach up there and loosen these completely so that they're no longer attached. Looks like we got a little bit coming out there, which is actually a good sign. That's our uh, RV antifreeze from winterizing. So at least we know it got in the pipes. So now both of those are loose and I can also see here that both of my drain pipes are loose and I've removed all of my braces that are down there. So if you want to come up with me to the top of the sink. Um, so when your sink's installed, generally there's going to be a slight level of caulking all the way around it just to keep it waterproof. So if you splash something over, it doesn't sink down there and start getting into the wood and ruin it all that. Um, so with that layer of caulking, if you undo everything and then try to yank the sink out, the sink's going to stick there because of the caulking. So what we did is we used our carpet knife, uh, cut around the entire outside to uh, cut a crease in the caulk so that the sink should be able to pull out. So um, as of right now, we should be all disconnected and all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try my best to lift up the sink and hopefully it comes out. Look at that, easy peasy. There's the sink. Um, all it took was a couple little maneuvers to loosen it up and get it out. Um, so me and Katie have been considering a couple things. While we do love the deep base of uh, this sink and how big it is, we're not sure if the dual is necessary for us. Um, so we're gonna be looking into other sinks, seeing what we can't do, um, but we'll show you that as we get there. Um, if you have any questions on how to remove your sink, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below or visit mountainmodernlife.com where we'll have a post that uh, kind of matches this video um, and shows you how to do it uh, in written form with some photos. But uh, anyway, thanks for stopping by, checking out our video, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.